Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today my desk is a mess and that does not uh, appear to be changing anytime soon and the reason for that is, well, uh, we discussed uh, some secrets being revealed, some announcements. Uh, so this is that video. So if you are a member of Patreon, you are likely seeing this on Thursday. If you are not a member or a patron to my channel, you are seeing this on Saturday morning, but you very likely will have seen it Friday night during my live when I officially fully announced it. Um, I'm going to go over a few of the things now uh, before I ship off these packages so that I have physical items to show you. So, first off, what is the announcement? I opened a Nutsy store. So, you may be thinking, okay, what, did, what are you selling? Um, the answer to that is a little bit of both of my favorite things. Some diamond painting stuff and some cross stitch stuff. So if you are a member of the floss tube community, this video is also for you. So I'm going to start with uh, the name of my Etsy shop. It's going to be Swartz Handmade and we're going to go into why I've chosen to call it this. Um, so that's my last name and when I marry my fiance, my sister and I are the last ones. So I thought that I would pay a little homage to uh, my family and my last name that I will no longer have. Um, so why, uh, why did I choose to open up an Etsy shop? Uh, two reasons. Uh, one is a little bit diamond painting and one is a little bit cross stitch related. So about a year ago I bought some stuff to make wax because you might remember the series New Wax Wednesday and I found a couple waxes that I liked but I couldn't find anything that was like my perfect wax so the logical next step was make my own um, and you'll see that this is a common theme in my life if I can't find something that I can buy that I like I'll make it so uh, I made my own wax formula for diamond painting um, I also have intents to make thread conditioner so uh, keep that in mind, cross stitch friends. Um, so, wax formula. My wax is made, I can't give you all of the details obviously, um, because that would be sharing my recipe, uh, but it is made from, the main ingredients are going to be beeswax is the main ingredient, and then for scents, my scents are essential oils, they're not fragrances. And then what makes my wax even more special than the fact that I made it and I love it, my wax has real crystals in it and the reason that I did this was um, I wanted to set myself apart from the other waxes and I also know that crystals are super big in some communities so um, I respect the crystals so I added the crystals so you can see in some of my waxes you can see that they are floated to the bottom so you can see that there are real crystals in here so, obviously all relevant information will be linked in the description box uh, for the Etsy store and any information that I have to include, uh, but I made my own wax formula and I'm super proud of it and later this week before um, packages get sent, um, well before packages arrive because I have to send some today uh, for some friends, but before they arrive hopefully ideally I will um, make how to use swax which is the name it is called crystal swax so why swax well Swartz wax get it <laughs> I'm so funny <laughs> but I thought it was really cute it's a little play on words there um, I have multiple different kinds of wax well it's one kind but multiple different uh, scents and shapes and stuff and we'll get into that um, but I did want to mention that I'm going to have a limited release of Halloween swax as well as fall swax so if you're interested in these two items you need to uh, not be shy about it so I will go in order so I have my Halloween swax and these are called brains, obviously. They're brains. Let me get this lighting a little better. There's some brain for you. Okay, and then I have another example here. Uh, here is my brains. And this one's got a little bit of brain damage. It's not really damage. It's, a, it's probably either a garnet crystal or an obsidian crystal going down to the bottom. Please excuse my nails. I haven't done anything to them for a while. And this is why I have been hard at work making pretty things so my hands have not looked pretty. <laughs> it's fine. 
Um, but these are going to retail for, uh, I think we're going to go with nine or $10. I haven't nailed down the exact cost yet, uh, simply because I sort of rushed this to get it out in time for Halloween. So these are going to be my brain swacks. I have a uh, notebook around here somewhere that contains the exact grams, but that will also be at the Etsy store. So any information will be easily accessible to you when it does launch. So if you are a member of Patreon, you are getting 24 access, 24 hour access from the time this video um, is shared to you. And then everyone else, this video will go live on Saturday, but my shop goes live on Friday night. And today is the 27th. Is that right? 27th? Yeah. Yes. Today is the 27th. So a couple more days to go for the members and Patreons. But here is the brain swags and this is cinnamon scented. Uh, the next limited release that I have is going to be my fall swax. So in order to show you all the fall swax, I'm going to have to break into some of the packages that I'm sending out um, as we speak. So I've got one for Melly and one for Randy right here in front of me. They are each getting a swax and I need those swaxes. I need the swax back so that I can uh, pull these out and show you. So here is the limited release swax for the fall. I have a few different options to share with you. Uh, so I have these three. So this is a cinnamon scented, this is sandalwood scented, and this is fresh cut uh, grass. So these are retailing for a dollar less than the brains. Um, like I said, I haven't worked out pricing details, but if the brains are 10, these are nine. If the brains are nine, these are eight. So, and I think that, um, uh, these are pretty fair prices considering, uh, the, the, uh, quality of the ingredients that's going into them as well as the fact that these are real crystals in these swax and I definitely did tons of research when picking price points so uh, then if you like all three but you're like man I won't go through all three I have a solution for you this is the tiny trio this is the fall trio and these are going to be retailing for 14 or 15 dollars uh, once again, haven't nailed down the exact price point yet. Uh, thank you so much for passing that to me. So these are, like I said, the uh, Fall Swax Trio. This is a tiny trio. Once again, we have a cinnamon scent, a sandalwood scent, and fresh cut grass scent. So those are my Fall and Halloween limited Swax releases. And then we'll get into the classic scents that I intend to kind of have all year round. Uh, so those are, where are they? Here they are right here. So I have, I should have four up here. One, two, three. I have misplaced one. Um, that's okay. I'll just bag it. Oh no, I didn't misplace it. I just didn't bag it yet. So this is a live bagging, not an unbagging, but a live bagging. So the swaxes come in these nice resealable bags. Uh, in the future, the bags might get smaller. I just grabbed whatever I could find so that I could get going. But here is what they will look like. This one is Ocean Breeze Scent. So it is a combination of a few essential oils that make this delightful fragrance. But you can kind of see some crystal. Please don't look at my nails. They are busted from creating. <laughs> but um, you can see some crystals that have floated to the bottom. So this is one option for a classic swax, a classic crystal, a, cra a classic crystal swax. Say that three times fast. Um, and then another option would be this is rain rain scent once again a combination of several uh essential oils created um or combined to create this one scent for you once again you can kind of see crystals poking to the bottom of this one this one once again is rain scented um the bricks are going to retail for the same price as the brain so if the brains were 10 these will also be 10 um and then the next scent i have for you is bamboo And once again, you can see the uh, crystals peeking through to the bottom. Now, if you were like, wow, rain and bamboo sound really, really good, uh, but I only want to buy one. Hi, look at me go. I <laughs> created this especially for those of you that wanted to try two cents. Two, two for one, if you will. So in this one, you will not see the crystals poking through. That's because I put the crystals 
dead center in between the two of them. So you can uh, dig from it, dig into it from both sides. So I had uh, one of my friends ask, well, what about if the pen picks up the crystal? Then you release the crystal. It won't get stuck. Uh, I made this wax special and I'll get into my instructions in a second. I will film an entire tutorial on how to use swax, but I'm going to read you my swax facts now. Um, so my swax facts are as follows. So this, while the molds come in a solid form, it's not liquid, um, it is malleable and it is meant to be malleable. Uh, this helps you to save the swax, okay? When you scrape the excess off the tips of your pens, you can put it right back on the swax. So this is a swax I've been using for a little while now. This was one of my testers, and this was ultimately the formula I went with, but you can see that I'm kind of able to squish it a little bit. So if you look at the back of the swax, you can see all the times that I have pulled the swax up uh, off the pen tips and I have put it right back on the swax mold. So you can see that pictured, or you can see that there, all of the swax that I pulled up and put right back on. Um, these are real crystals inside of them, so you can kind of see my real crystals peeking through here as well. Um, so my swax facts say, real, real crystals, yes, you read that correctly, your wax contains real crystals and though they be little, they be mighty. The weight of some crystals sink them to the bottom of the mold and so they are visible on the top of the wax and some are stable enough to be layered. Regardless of where they end up, I can guarantee that all wax purchases will have three to five crystals. So if you bought, say, a trio, you're gonna end up with one, at least one crystal in each wax. And then if you buy a full-size swax, one single full-size, you will wind up with three crystals. So um, three to five, because uh, my son who is sitting right here, and we'll get into something that he made to share and sell eventually um, in just a second. But uh, when we were going through and we were putting the crystals, they're, they're, very, they're very tiny crystals. So they're not going to be a hunk of amethyst that you can just hang on a shelf or put on a shelf. These are tiny crystals. Like I said, though they be little, they be mighty. So I obviously didn't want to put an, a full big size crystal into the wax because at that point you're not really getting much wax. So these are meant to be tiny. They're meant to potentially be put in like a little bottle or something and collect them all. Um, and I can't guarantee what types of crystals you will have in your wax just because we went through them and we just picked, okay, well, we're going to do, for example, I think, uh, one of them has obsidian in it. One of the, um, one of the waxes has obsidian. So it's probably the brains. Yeah. Okay. So the brains definitely have obsidian in them, but we just went, okay, so I'm making the brains. I'm going to put three different types of crystals and one, two, three. And then if there were um, smaller crystals, sometimes that particular wax will have gotten two tiny ones instead of one um, tiny one, one larger tiny one, if that makes sense. Um, back to my uh, swax facts. So I already went over my uh, ingredients, so I don't have to discuss that anymore, but we will go ahead and uh, we'll talk about a little bit of the creation process of this uh, product. So, <sighs> I bought the ingredients to make my own wax a little over a year ago and just didn't do anything with it. I got stressed out from this, I got stressed out from that, so it didn't really, it didn't really turn out to be anything until fairly recently when I finally for, came up with the correct recipe and formula that is preferable to me. So um, obviously when I do an entire video regarding this wax, it will get you know more in depth with how to use it and stuff. But basically what you need to know is I am a multi-placing addict. The more multi-placing, the better. If you give me a chunk of 310, I am there all day, all day long. So with that in mind, I created this wax. So it is meant more for multi-placers. You can use it near a single placer. It does not last as long. You know me with honesty. I'm going to tell you the truth. Always, always, always. So um, it lasts. I think I got it down to the point where I was able to use the multi-placer for twice as long. 
Um, I can't remember the exact increments of time. If I do, I'll put them here. Um, but I think that I was able to get this wax to last in my multi-placer for over two hours, whereas inside the single placer, it was like around an hour and a half, something like that. Um, but I will correct myself if I'm wrong here. So I have those figures somewhere, just not with me, unfortunately. I literally rushed home to film this video so I could go right back out and send some more packages. So that is that, because I had to pull some swacks out for um, this video. So I gotta make sure that these go back into the right one. Randy, I'm packing yours right now. This is your swax, it's going in the bag. So speaking of bags, here is my packaging before we get into the next product that I have made. This is my packaging. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it, to be honest. So if you end up buying one swax, it will come to you folded over like so and the label will be here and that will be that and Melly, I am putting yours in here but first but first actually I have to uh, go over another thing so the other product that I um, have made to sell is cross stitch fabric so you may recall that I uh, wanted to buy a fun fabric for my cryptids and I wasn't able to find anything that I liked so I dyed my own and uh, I have since dyed several more pieces of fabric some of them I am super super proud of this is just basic neon green it's pretty it's it's perfect for what I wanted but um, the fabrics that I dyed are definitely far more uh, intricate and more uh, detailed than this. But this is the first piece of fabric that I dyed. So you may recall, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, what are you doing? Hello! I will now be posting all shop updates on my Instagram, so you definitely need to follow me there. Uh, but you may recall, about a week, week and a half ago, I mentioned that I dyed my entire kitchen purple. I was dying fabrics. <laughs> so here is uh, some of the fabrics that I have to share with you. Once again, I haven't nailed down price points. I really need to figure out uh, what it's going to cost me to make each item and that will help me to determine the uh, cost overall. Um, but I am pretty, pretty set on the wax prices within a dollar amount of each other. So that is the swax and now we'll get fully into the fabric. So I don't have a cool little written up paper that you're going to get for the crystals, but, or not the crystals, the fabrics, but I have several to share with you today. So the first fabric that I knew I had to do is going to be, again, a limited Halloween release. So I bring you Blood Splatter Analyst. So this is a callback to when Jenny and I were doing Murderous Mondays. If you're new to me, if you are following me strictly for my cross stitch videos, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But basically, we had watched the entirety of Dexter and we went live every Monday to talk about a season and we had so much fun. And Dexter is officially coming back and to honor him and his life's work, I created uh, blood splatter analyst. So this is the first fabric and once again, this is a limited release. This is, I believe it's 12 by 18 and you will have to, yeah, 12 by 18, yeah. You'll have to forgive um, that the um, edges may fray during the wash and dry process. Um, I have detailed instructions as to how to care for your fabrics. Um, I do the best that I can to ensure that the fabrics won't run, but I can't wash them 10 times before they leave so you just have to you just have to be careful I have all the information linked in or uh, listed in the descriptions of each individual listing on Etsy due to the, due to the major fabric not every fabric will get safe. yeah uh, yeah <clears throat> thank you so much so due to the handmade nature of these fabrics not every single fabric will be the same so for example we have this one and we have this one. So two different <clears throat> options and they're going to be under the same listing. So with that in mind, I will show you, I think I have uh, a couple others that are going to be limited release. Um, this one, my fiance named. <laughs> 
This one is called Apocalypse. So this is another situation where the fabric is going to be for Halloween uh, time only. So this is Apocalypse. And then I have uh, two of these that I am so, so happy with. And then I have one that I wasn't as happy with naming it the same thing. So we ended up going with uh, Doomsday. The uh, variant uh, called Doomsday does not have as much white. It's mostly the gray and the red. Um, so I wasn't happy calling it the same thing, but this is Apocalypse and Doomsday will be in the same listing just because they are so similar. But this is Apocalypse. So we have uh, Blood Splatter Analyst, Apocalypse and Doomsday. Uh, I have two more releases that I'm not sure if they're going to be uh, Halloween. It really depends on it depends on the love that they get. If I sell out and people are like, I want, I want it, I would be more than happy to bring it back because if you follow me for my diamond painting channel and my diamond painting videos, you know that I am a sucker for glow. If it glows, I want it and I want it now. And if it doesn't glow, I want to know how I can make it glow. You'll never guess what I did. I made these glow. Yes, I did. So you'll have to excuse the fact that this one and uh, Apocalypse are wrinkly. They're in their drying phase. I'm about to iron them and ship them off to their respective owners. So I, uh, this is purple and it will glow in the dark. I will insert a photo of what that will look like right now. So as you can see, it is perfect and wonderful and glowing. And the second fabric that I made glow is this green fabric here. Uh, so that is green glow and purple glow, and I will show you what green glow looks like right here. As you can see, another beautiful, wonderful, perfect, uh, amazing glow-in-the-dark fabric. Of course, they're not perfect and all that because they are handmade and so everything that I make is handmade and it's handmade in small batches so I literally sat here and these are all hand dyed but some of these are hand painted these these ones are two of the ones that are definitely hand painted so I'm actually hand stippling your glow on there for you so that is why you will never have two that look exactly the same so just for comparison's sake, Melly, I'm going back into your package really quickly. This is the fabric that Melly is getting. She is getting this beautiful green glow fabric. And you can see that the glow pattern is not going to be the exact same on them because they're hand dyed and hand stippled in small batches. So uh, just to recall and make sure that you're aware that um, if I list a fabric and it looks one way on the thing, there is a uh, disclaimer that they're going to look different. So make sure that you're aware of that. Um, so that is the glow. And then the other fabric, I'm not sure if I wanna make a fall release, a Halloween release, or a part of my classic collection. So that's what I'm calling it. I'm not calling uh, it is standard collection. I'm calling it a classic collection. So, and these are Swartz fabrics, which was the initial idea for the name of my Etsy shop, but we ended up going with Swartz Handmade because I'm clearly making more than just fabrics. But here is uh, Twilight, another fabric that my fiance named. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect blend of a lavender and a gray for the perfect twilight. I am absolutely obsessed with the way this came out. Um, here is what they look like. So there is a right and a wrong side to um, some fabrics. So there is, I'll show you that now. So one side has all the glow. The other side has some of the glow. Um, so we'll get into the final fabric that I created. It was the first one that was going to be a part of the classic collection um, back when it was just called standard collection <laughs> in my head. Uh, this is called Divine and this is the one that is most time and labor intensive aside from the glow 
um, those two are kind of tied there but this one is definitely more labor intensive and this one once again I'm sorry it's going to be iron um, it's in the drying phases right now this fabric is called divine so you're not able to get like a clear picture of exactly what this looks like just because of the uh, way that my lighting is picking it up um, so I'll have to insert a better photo here but you can see that I've hand painted a vine on it and you could argue that what are you going to put on here but to that I would say anything spring anything spring anything fall would look fantastic on here um, I think that if it was a simple pattern it wouldn't take away from um, the fabric and vice versa so um, that is divine. This is the divine fabric and this one is being shipped off to Jenny So now we'll discuss briefly what my son has made to share and eventually sell in the shop for now We are giving out swamples get it Swartz samples uh, So cute <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one um, and swax as well, but uh, these are going to be very very limited uh, swamples just because of the fact that um, it's an additional thing that we have to do um, and it is also very very labor intensive so the amount of swamples that I have are extremely limited um, but these are to get you excited for the possibility of soap to be introduced so you see why we had to name it uh, Swartz Handmade versus Swartz Fabrics so I will show you what the label that I created for the swamples looks like where is the swample? Here it is. Okay, so the label says swample, complimentary soap, and I've underlined soap a few times so that you understand that this is a soap and not a swax. This is a complimentary soap made by an eight year old and his mama. So these are the labels that will go on the swamples, and there's a few variants, um, all with shells in them for now. We did make a total of, I think we made six total soaps. Can you pass those to me? We made a total of six soaps to stick in the shop for um, launch and release. Um, so we will eventually make more, but we have to buy more soap to do that. So it wasn't something I was interested in doing today. Um, but we do have six soaps and two variants. Um, the variants are, uh, let's see, this one is called Under the Sea. And I'm trying to pick it up so that you can see it, but it's kind of, I'm trying to not let them fall out. But these top two are called Under the Sea, so it's kind of a callback to the Swamples. We got some shells in there and a soft blue uh, top and a uh, soft blue bottom as well. All of the um, Swamples are made with glycerin and the shell is shea butter. And uh, the same thing goes for these. So the, the leaves and the shells are going to be, once again, shea butter. And um, the base and the top is going to be the glycerin. So these next ones were a little bit different. So we were going for fall. And so we decided, because of the way that the soap poured, um, we decided we were going to call these Fossil, get it? They're like archaeological soaps. You like they're like almost fossilized in there. They turned out super cool and super unique. There probably will never be another six soaps like these, just because uh, the process that we did to do these, it didn't turn out how I would have liked. Um, it was our, uh, I don't know. We've been making soap on and off for quite some time now, but these, this particular type of soap was new to us the shea butter and the glycerin together were new to us so so it didn't go as planned but these will be sold in the Etsy shop for I think we're going for five or six dollars a piece um, and they smell these two are ocean breeze um, these are not essential oils because you can't put essential oils in these soaps um, at least the types that we made um, but these the Swamples and the two C ones are going to be called Ocean Breeze, or Ocean Breeze Scented, sorry. No. They are Sand and Sea Scented. 
and then these four are going to be cool musk scented so um, and they have glitter in them the bottom ones have glitter the uh, fall ones you can kind of see the glitter poking through it's not craft glitter or anything so don't worry about that it's um the colorant was glittery so it was an additive for you so here is the deal with the swamples um, I have a couple packages that I am sending out to friends for them to be able to try the products and give me their feedback and hopefully um, share with some more possible people who weren't aware of these products just because I'm so proud of them I really am so proud of them um, but hopefully uh, they will try them and test them and give me their feedback see if there's anything I need to tweak I'm pretty satisfied with my swax and my fabric, but if there are some really good pointers I would love to hear them, but here is the deal with those so I only we only have 24 of the swamples so once my friends boxes go out or friends bags go out we will have I think 10 no eight so we're gonna have 16 left so 16 swamples so the first 16 orders placed will receive a free swample so I can't guarantee that you will get one but they're just a little additive just a little something extra from us to you uh, as a thank you for supporting our small business um, we hope that uh, you enjoy the products we hope that you will enjoy them and give us honest feedback we're always looking for honesty um, honesty is something that is really really important to me and if you've been with me for any length of time you already know this um, but I will not take up any more of your time I'm going to say thank you so much for hanging out with me um, and throw up I don't know like a seashell if you made it to this point in time in the video um, so, like I said, Etsy will be li linked, listed, linked, it'll be in the description box, and, um, that is gonna be it for today's video, um, I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and, um, I will see you in the next one, I hope that you are being safe, wash your hands, taking care of yourselves, bye guys.